This week, we're looking at uh, this beautiful picture. You can still know peace without knowing what's coming next. And I just thought that was a really, a really beautiful one um, for us to, to ponder over these days. And I think I deal with that uncertainty by actually at the moment, I don't know the details. I don't know when exactly, and I don't know how or what it will look like. Mm. So I'm kind of just choosing not to worry about that side of things. Um, because I don't know. Once we know some things, then maybe give it some more thought. And then this idea that we can now kind of start seeing each other. I think we've just decided it's probably safer not to at this point, because um, for the younger ones, it's hard for them to, to maintain that distance, really. Mm -hmm. But the peace that comes from that is knowing that actually God, God is in the situation. He's in control. And, and just trying to be grateful for what we do have. We're all healthy. We're all safe. We still have food on the table. We have a roof over our heads. And, and yeah, we give thanks for that. But I think for me, it's been learning to actually live in the moment and literally trying to think about today. And I mean, you, as you've been mentioning, connecting with your children and actually trying to see some good things, because there have been some good things that we're experiencing as part of this. Um, and it's trying to focus on those, really, the kind of gratitude thing, really. It's a great skill for them to have that in their toolbox for our kids to know that when they're anxious or worried that they can write down something that they're thankful for. Um, it sort of gives, gives them a bit of resilience to be able to soldier on. Um, I can suggest that by sharing some of those, either maybe write them up on your fridge, just write one on your fridge, you put it on a different thing each day that you find amazing. And um, your kids may just pick up, oh, what's this on the fridge, Mum? Why have you said that I love the way that you of your basketball out the back incessantly. Um, but it starts the conversations again and you can bring them back into those conversations and it might be a really great way to sort of start that connection and helpful way to have um, some of those difficult conversations we've spoken about. Mm. Kind of a light-hearted way of doing it, so that's a good thing. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. Why don't you join us in building a life-giving, hope-filled culture by building each other up helping each other grow because quite simply every single person without exception is of infinite value and worth so yeah don't forget to subscribe and click like on youtube uh, to follow us on facebook and do leave your comments below as well we'd love to hear from you uh, thanks again for watching we'll see you around bye